Linking to Bible verses in Obsidian shouldn't be hard. Obsidian's built around this idea of linking to our knowledge and connecting different files, different ideas together, but it is hard. And in this video, I'm gonna share the best solution I found, as well as some other options that you can explore. So let's move over to my Obsidian Vault here, and I'll give an example. Linking one verse is very simple. We just enter in the right syntax for the file and make sure that we have it marked up correctly using the markdown version of the Bible that I've got a link to above. And then we can have a link to it there. And now you can see if I move my mouse over it, it will show the verse. Easy, simple. Problem is when we try to link multiple verses, let's say we want to link from verse one to 11. So what do we do? Well, one option is to link every single verse like an animal, like I'm doing here. So verse one, let's do that, okay. Copy. So now I'm going to do verse two. Okay. Now I'm going to do verse three. Okay. It's not looking great. Verse five. Okay. Oh, whoops. And so on and so on. If I want to do a longer reference, that's going to take a real while. Plus, also, you can see the formatting doesn't look that great we can find ways to hide some of these verses. So let's say that we're just linking between one and five. I could kind of hide them in something like this, using the pipe symbol, and then a hyphen to try and hide it in here. So I could hide them to some degree, and now I can see them there. That's a bit nicer formatting, but still, that's taking even longer to type everything out. So another option, a simpler option, maybe I could just link to the chapter. A one, and then just put in something like verses one to 11. But now if I open up this chapter, then I won't see the link that I made there for the specific verses. I only see the verse links that I made in the other formats. So that's a problem with that one. I only get information about the chapter. I don't get information about the verses. Now, another option could be that I could link to the first verse. Uh, and only the first verse. And then just reference to verse 11. This is a pretty good solution. This is a solution I was doing for a very long time because then I get the, you know, usually the first verse is, is important for the context. And, you know, if I'm coming down to verse six, then if I'm not starting on verse one, maybe it's not so relevant. So, so that helps. But there is that issue. If I want to look up something that's coming from verse six, well, maybe a note which starts on verse one to six is going to be relevant to that. So I'm going to miss out and not see that it's relevant there, especially if this is a longer section, if I'm going across chapters, then I'm totally going to miss out on that uh, context there. So that's the problem with doing that one. One other option I've used in the past is to quickly jot down a reference when when typing in class or something like that, and then come back later and fill it in later on. This is also a pretty good solution, but it still takes time to actually input it, and that can lead to delay, and that means it's likely to skip my attention later. So really, the best option then is to use the Bible Linker plugin. Now, this is a community plugin that you can install, so you have to accept and install community plugins. You can search for Bible linker and as you can see i've installed it and in actual fact i need to update it so i'll update it now and this gives you some options makes it far easier to type in bible verses so now we've downloaded it we need to check our settings for the linker plugin so i've opened up the bible linker plugin here and uh just going quickly through the settings by default this is set to any heading however i have uh, my verses on six levels of heading. 
Now, insert prefix or postfix. This allows you to do things such as uh, putting a mark, a markdown mark, so that it will show it as a quote when you put it there. That can be quite useful. Or for having a post link after each thing. Uh, so after you have your Bible link, you could leave a space or something like that. And then each verse prefix allows you to, before a verse is put in, you can set the formatting there. So you could say that it will show the verse number or something like that there, useful when you're copying a Bible verse. Links, this is about how the links will show and how they will be displayed. So if you'll have the last verse link there, if you have invisible links, which is a very nice way of formatting, it keeps it looking a lot cleaner. Uh, link only by default, this makes the option that you select, uh, link only, is the default option rather than other options like invisible or something. The notation section is quite useful. This allows you, this is relevant for what uh, chapter and verse settings that you're using and how you type in Bible verses. You know, English, we tend to type in Bible verses in one way. Other languages like Polish, which I didn't realize, they type them in, in different formatting using different symbols like commas in places where we'd expect a full stop or something like that. So uh, if you want to type in one verse, you should use dot, whereas a comma is if you're typing in multiple ones. You can change that though. If you have multiple Bible verse, uh, Bible translations in your vault, you're going to want to turn on this setting and then you can set up so you can switch between Bible translations. And finally, this is about how your markdown format is selected as well. So uh, with that, I'm gonna select invisible. It's my default type of uh, using links and use new lines. Uh, I'm gonna take that off. Then, uh, yeah, let's verify file. Uh, yeah, verify files is useful because it will make sure that we're not linking, that we typed everything in correctly. So that's my settings. Now let's try it. Go use the command palette, bring up the options and do Bible linker. Now I've got two options. One is just to link to the verses. The other is to copy and link. This will have a copy of the text in my vault as well. So I'm just gonna go for link Bible verses here. Now I want gen one, one. There we go. I've used the dot to separate because that's how I type it out normally. And look, it's given me gen one, one. However, in this case, it's actually not correct because the formatting in my vault, as you can see, is there is gen uh, 01. So I need to correct that. Let's correct that now. Uh, let's do the Bible linker again. And this time we'll do gen 01.1. And this time it has linked correctly to the verse. Now, what if we want to do multiple verses? As you can see, that's uh, invisible because I've set it to invisible. So if I want to do multiple verses, I could do, uh, I need to do the Bible linker plugin again, uh, Bible. And then I do gen 01 comma 1 to 11. And now let's, uh, Let's have basic this time. And there we go. As you can see, it's put in every single verse. And it's done it instantly in one go. That has saved me a ton of time of typing these out. And it has made it easy for me to go to each one. If I then go into the Genesis verses, I can see that there's links for these ones here. Uh, not for the Gen 6 yet, for some reason. Let's see why it may not have registered that that verse is there yeah there we go okay now it's updated strange new world plugin takes some time sometimes yeah it's hitting this again there we go so that's one option for it now as you can see it takes a bit of time you have to remember by command palette bible linker to get it open and that takes a bit of time so we could change this again uh, and use the hot key so we can find Bible linker and we could create a hotkey that would allow it to pop up every time we put in a certain incantation on the keyboard. So for example, I'm going to add one here and I'm going to do command shift B. So it's kind of like bold, but B for Bible is my thought for that one. So now when I'm here, if I do command shift B, it brings up the option straight away. I don't have to go into the command palette. Then I can type in my Gen 02, let's do 02 this time, comma 127. Uh, 
there I go. I've got my links in there. And they're all invisible because I set that as the default. I'm sure you'll agree that this really helps to speed up and simplify linking multiple verses together in the Bible. It's not a perfect solution. A solution like Logos is far easier to link multiple verses than, than using it in uh, Obsidian. However, with Obsidian, we do get the benefits of linking to these other sources as well and tying our knowledge together in that way. If you know a different solution, I've heard of other plugins that are coming out in the future, then please leave a comment below and I'd love to check them out. Uh, and if you found this useful, please like it. It really does help with YouTube. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.